everyone, it's Amanda. Today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up and my November TBR. In October I was able to read four books and actually these four books that I'm about to show you are four of the books that I did an unwrapping video on. Um, if you want to see my TBR unwrapping video, it's called TBR unwrapping number one. It's, a, it's on my channel. It's a couple videos back. Um, but yeah, I haven't done another one of those videos because I haven't finished all the books in that video and that's what I want to do before I make another one. So I'm sorry about that. So the first book I read was um, Twisted by Laurie Haas Anderson. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. This book is about this guy named Tyler. He's a senior in high school and he really likes this girl named Bethany. Um... He also gets starts to get in trouble. He's normally the good kid in school, but he gets in a lot of trouble and the girl starts looking at him and paying attention to him. So I actually liked this book even though I gave it a three out of five stars. It was all right, so. The next book I have to show you is Entwined by Heather Dixon. This book is about a retelling of um, the 12 dancing princesses I actually don't really I don't really remember that story probably should have should but you know I don't I don't know why I just haven't been in school in forever so yeah um I liked it it was okay I gave this a three out of five stars as well I like the cover it's really pretty it was all right I mean it wasn't nothing like fantastic but it was good this, the next book I read, I gave this, um, a four out of five stars. It's The Cellar by Natasha Preston. I started trying to rip off the little price sticker, but I couldn't, could, kind of couldn't. Sorry. <laughs> um, this was good. It's about this girl who, um gets kidnapped that's not really a spoiler but she gets kidnapped and put in a cellar and it's actually really good um if y'all like spooky books I guess scary books then y'all would be interested in this I really liked it and I'm excited to read the rest of her books I have another one I don't remember what it's called but hopefully I will be unwrapping it soon we will see <laughs> Um, the last book that I finished in October was The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. This is the first book in the Iron Fae series. Um, I've had this book on my TBR for probably four years now. So, I thought it was about time to read this. I actually unwrapped it. So, yeah. I just thought I would read it. And it's actually about fairies. Um... This girl named Megan, she doesn't know that she's a fairy, but it turns out she is. Um, it's not really a spoiler. Um, and it's actually pretty good. I did give this a 3 out of 5 stars as well, if I didn't mention that. Um, the books were, I mean, okay this month. They weren't, like, spectacular. They didn't, like, blow my mind. <laughs> but, yeah, they were good. So, that was all that I read in October. Um, the two books that I'm currently reading, I'm actually rereading both of them. Now, in my, let's see, I think it was my July through August wrap up, I think it was, my last video. I said I was going to read the last book in this series, but I kind of forgot a lot that happened in the second book, so I started the second book. It's The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is the second book, as I just mentioned, and I'm almost done with it. I'm on chapter 56, so I'm, like, very close to the end. So, hopefully I can finish this within the next couple days. Um, the Mara, the Mara Dyer series is actually really good if you like kind of suspenseful books. Um, I recommend it. I think, like, basically... Mara has like these powers that she doesn't really know what it is and you don't really find out 
I don't mean, I haven't read the, sec the third book, but maybe you find out in there. But you don't really find out exactly, like, how she has these powers. But you find out kind of, like, what her powers are in the first book. So it's pretty awesome. I recommend you read this series. And they also have, um, Michelle Hodkin also has in, uh, like, the fourth book. It's called, like... The Unbecoming of Noah Shaw or something, I think. But yeah, I want to read that too. So, I'm enjoying this. Hopefully I can finish it in the next couple days. The next book I'm currently reading is After by Anna Todd. This is my second time reading this, I think, or second or third. Um, I read it when it was on Wattpad, or Wattpad, however you say it. It's about... It's basically a One Direction um, fan fiction about this girl named Tessa who's in college and this guy named, I think, Harden. They're actually making a movie out of this. I think the movie's about to come out. I don't know when it's about to come out, but it's actually really good. And I really recommend this series. I know there's a, they, she has like a lot of books out in this series. And I really want to read them. That's why I started this one again. <laughs> Sorry if I'm kind of acting weird. I haven't filmed in a while. And sometimes I can't form my words correctly. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> the next book I would like to read is... Um, it was going to be after I read... Um, the Evolution of Mara Dyer. Sorry, I forgot the title. It's the... Retribution of Mara Dyer. This is the third book in the Mara Dyer, Mara Dyer series by Michelle Hodkin. I did start this. I got like two chapters in, but I kind of forgot what happened. So I'm going to read this right after I finish the second book. Yeah. So those are the physical, like, big books that I want to read, I guess. Um, the next books. Well, no, there's another one. I forgot about it. But anyway, the next books I have are like graphic novels that I got recently in the past couple months. I don't know if I've shown them in a video. The first one is DC Superhero Girls, a graphic novel. Um, it's called Out of the Bottle by a bunch of different authors, if you can see that. So... Yeah, I actually really want to read this, and it was only a couple dollars when I, wherever I got it from. I got it from, like, a comic store, comic book store. But I love the artwork in it. It looks really awesome, so I'm excited to read this. The next three graphic novels, um, they're, like, I guess comic issues, not really graphic novels. But the first one is Goosebumps download and die this is issue one the second one is goosebumps um monsters at midnight this is issue two and the third one i would like to read is i guess <laughs> um goosebumps download and die i don't know if it's like the it's basically the same title as the first one i don't know if these are completely the same I don't know if like the um the second third one are part of a, the same series and the second one's not I don't really know but I guess I'll find out because <laughs> I just realized that they have like different titles like the first and the third one have like the same title basically and then the, the second one doesn't I don't know. I bought it from a comic book store and they didn't really have all of them so I bought these and hopefully I don't get mixed up. I'll have to look it up before I read them. Um, the very last book I want to try to read, I don't know if I will be able to, but we will see. Um, it's Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I really want to read this because it's about... Um, I guess Jack the Ripper, I guess. So, I'm excited. Hopefully I can read this very soon. Hopefully I can get to it this month. So, yeah. Anyway, that was my October wrap-up and my November TBR. 
Sorry if this video was weird. Like I said, I'm not used to being like in front of a camera and talking, so my apologies. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you read in October and what you plan on reading in November. I would love to know so that hopefully I can read some of those books as well. We will see. Alright, bye guys.